So I have a question for both of you, and I'm not sure if I'm just thinking too much into it, but she obviously at some point we see her and we see her underwear and we see her underwear later that it's like white with like frills and bunnies. What is it about these, especially around this time where there was a lot of things that were girl-like, childlike things for that were pushed for women to wear in the 90s and 2000s including our underwear like you could see pictures of Alicia Silverstone wearing there's one I know right now like where she's in pink panties and they are like the fancy underwear you'd wear when you wore a like yeah for children for little girls Mm -hmm. and I it dawned on me watching this movie and I'm like it's kind of gross when you think about it and I remember the Britney Spears cover with the Teletubby yes. that she was posing in her, in her underwear with the Teletubby. Yeah, there was definitely, a, there was a lot of sketchy things happening in Hollywood at that time. You know, yeah, I agree. It's, I, I don't know why other than I think we just let the, the creeps run rampant at that time. And I think these days we're a little more aware of, <laughs> of yeah. things. Although not to say it doesn't still happen because it absolutely still does. Yeah. But yeah, there was stuff. I mean, because a lot of these, because think about like the singers and the pop stars of that time, they were all so young. Like even Britney mm-hmm. Spears, when she came out, she was so young, like yeah. 16. And like these days, like, I don't feel like that's, they're pushed as much like that. I don't know. They're more, I feel like now the route though is like influencer route, you know, and yeah, I think it's gotten a little bit even more insidious in, in, in some way mm-hmm. because now parents are, you know, used to take your children and put them in Hollywood and we, we hear the stories and we know a bunch of the teen stars who just went from child acting and it was horrible because their parents weren't really protecting them. Now parents are kind of pimping out their kids on mm-hmm. the internet to make content and these kids are not old enough to really understand how this will follow them in their life they don't understand how much this could affect them and yeah. there are skeeves watching this and and so young to babies to toddlers and we are also you know and I, I don't blame them 100% because I think they're looking at it from being a innocent thing you know but unfortunately, there's just so many horrible people out there. So I think maybe that's why it's not in that same way, but it's taken on a whole new role on social. Mm-hmm. It's going to be interesting yeah. to see in a few years, a decade from now, what these kids are going to end up doing, like, especially like those young YouTube kids mm-hmm. who have channels of them just eating. Yeah, I don't know. It's It can't be good for a child's development to be exposed to that world and yet it's it's arguably not good it's not good for my mental health sometimes having (laughs) the platform that I do it's and it's not even that much but it's like you know it's it's just having yourself be exposed to everyone's opinions and everyone's thoughts on you is it's weird I think humans were not meant to deal with that and especially child and, and teenagers looking for like popularity and and using social media as their currency of being popular you know mm-hmm. I'm just all I can say is I'm glad that was not a thing when I was in high school like all I had was my razor cell phone and you know and we just <laughs> sent t9 texts and that was about it at the time you know and went home on our myspace but as far as any other social media like I'm very grateful to not have dealt with that 